Welcome back to another video on the channel guys. My name is Wizite and today I'll be showing you how I learned the bullet drop on the AR-15 in H1Z1. But before we get into the video in the description is a giveaway. Go ahead and get yourself a free skin. It's free, fast and simple. Also, while you're in the description box, turn on notifications so you never miss a video. That bit is important as well. There's also a link in the description box which will show you how to turn those notifications on. Now, the first thing I did to learn the bullet drop for the AR-15 was find a car so you can drive to the far outskirts of the map. You'll see why this is important in just a minute. Second, I decided to find an AR-15 and grab as many rounds as I could find or as many rounds as I could carry. Now, please do take note you want to be fast here because one, the gas will decide where and how long you can use my method. And two, you don't want to get run up on or you don't want to take an early gunfight and potentially lose that gunfight, thus wasting time that, you know, that you've spent looting. So don't loot for too long. Four to five hundred rounds will be perfect and will be enough. Third, here's why you needed a car. I checked the safe zone and decided where it would be a good place to drive out to. You want to find somewhere secluded, safe, out the way where there's less chance of people being so you don't get shot in the back by some guy that's heard your gunfire and was like, I'm going to go to that dude and I'm going to fight because he's probably going to be weak from the gunfire that he's just taken. And yeah, you die and then you can no longer use this method. You have to queue again and go in again. Now, once you find this safe, secluded place, you want to single fire your weapon at a surface which is as, as vertical as possible. A tree, a building wall, or even a steep mountain. Now, here is where you learn the bullet drop. Now, take note. When I fire the weapon, you can see a small dust cloud below my reticule. This is where the bullet is dropping to and landing in the game. The further away you are from the target, in this case being the mountain, the lower the bullet will land. The closer you are, the closer the bullet will be to the reticule. Also, just want to point out, feel free to check out my other H1Z1 hints and tips video in the description box down below, which will help your general overall shot and gameplay in the game. I personally went from getting three or four kill wins to 13, 16, and 15 in fives as a solo player. A lot of people have commented on, on that video saying that it's helped them out a ton. So what I would do is I'd hop into games every now and then, and I would just fire 500 rounds into the mountain and try to learn the bullet drop with muscle memory. Now, this has helped my long range gunfight significantly and in particular, actually, because having a rough idea where my bullet will drop to and where the enemy is going to be has put me slightly one step ahead of the enemy, thus meaning me winning the gunfight because my red skew was higher than my enemy's head. And, you know, shooting someone's head will put them under pressure for multiple reasons. They'll have to put on another helmet. They'll also be thinking, this guy's good. He took my helmet off from there. And, you know, he's going to be a lot less confident than he was when he jumped out of his car and started firing at you. And this is going to ultimately give you an overall advantage. Now, of course, not all gunfights will be at the same range. So do this method, you know, firing at the mountain with maybe medium long range and maybe an extreme long range i don't know if that's really needed because those gunfights are, are literally not very often at least uh, close range isn't really needed purely because the bullet should go where your reticle is if you're at a good range now a little side note that i want to give you let's say if you're you know fighting at really long range and, and you're shooting your weapon always look for where the dust cloud is and then you want to adjust your reticle from where that dust cloud is to where that person's gonna be that's just like a little a tip. If you're ever in a mid gun fight and you're like, my bullet's not hitting this guy, look for the dust cloud. If you see no dust cloud, your bullet might be going over him. So you want to drop it down slightly. If you see a dust cloud, raise it up slightly. Now, one important thing to do is simply don't bore yourself by doing this for hours and hours and hours on end. Do it every now and then. Maybe when the games aren't going your way and you feel like you might need to refresh your memory on the bullet drop because... You don't want to do some tree, tedious uh, stuff and, and, and you know, burn first. yourself out on the game. Can Jump into a game, fire five, six hundred rounds Reload. at a mountain, get a rough idea of how the bullet drop works, then go and have some gunfights. When you feel like the games yeah, aren't going your way, go back to find rounds at the, at the mountain and, and see if it helps. Now, I hope this does help you guys out and it starts to improve your shot. Let me know if there are any hints and tips you guys might need in the comments below. Subscribe for more hints and tips and don't forget to enter the giveaway in the description box 
for a free skin. I'm yeah, Wizzite. I'll see you guys in another video very, very soon. Yeah.